sent for? Maybe. Tell me what's going on. There's been a suspicious death. We sent someone for help, but no one has come to help us yet. Are you the detective we sent for? Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. for the hotel. This is just a disaster. They're at the crime scene again. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Is this blood? Yes. A baseball bat. <laughs> what is this doing here? sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. 
Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh. We were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. We are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in this... <laughs> Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It looks like trees in space. Maybe it's about the struggle to maintain life adrift in an empty void? Mm, intriguing. What a post-cynical futurist interpretation. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. 
Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I think the whole thing is a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, huh? My fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest war. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time, and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, Detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, Detective. Do you not see this Wadivir from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't think didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Maybe later. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Protect and 
sir. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? The door to the Overseer's office is locked. Oh, yes. Mr. Parker locked it a while back after finding out that one of the other residents had been inside. Said it wasn't safe. If the key isn't on him, it's probably in Mr. Parker's room. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Protect and serve. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pane in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, Detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Maybe you could give me a reason it couldn't be you. I'm sick all the time, Detective. I don't have the strength to do such a thing. Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, Detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, Detective. 
just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich? Or die defending some outdated ideals? Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. Well, how is this going to go down? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end. found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? Turns out Robo Brains can eat. And I served him up a heap in helping a justice. Well, bravo, I suppose. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. 